one of the things that I've said in every company I've been in is HR has got to have a point of view. There is no such thing as asking for permission. If you ask for permission, you failed because you're asking people for permission to do something that they don't really understand what you're asking. When you come with a point of view, now they have to react to it. Well, I don't want to do that. Well, why? Well, I didn't think, well, actually, intuitively it may seem that way, but actually here's what it would get us, and here's my guarantee to you, and here's how this will work. So a lot of this conversation is much more about getting alignment in the C-suite for doing the right thing and recognizing as you tail that down how it's going to impact whatever results you measure. And we measure all our financials, don't get me wrong, we do care about them, of course, because we want to be solvent and we want to make sure that we deliver. We just don't put that first. Public company, you may have to put that first. You have disclosures, you have other things that you need to do. But it's, once you understand what those requirements are and how you have to play, what your rules of the game are, then you can figure out, how do I work with those? Because if you're working against them, you're gonna find you're gonna create conflict in people's minds. And the best thing you can do is, okay, those are the rules. Are there any others? Make sure they're true, because a lot of times I used to hear, well, those are big rules. I said, what's a big rule? It's one you really have to follow. I said, okay, well, I, I don't, I don't, I don't buy. So we have rules that we can break, but we have big rules. So I absolutely do believe that any one of us can engage our leadership as, in effect, the owners of the culture of the company, how things get done with no leaders around, and affect the kind of change that we need to affect.